In Kazan, competitions among women started at the third stage of the Russian Grand Prix in figure skating. The main star of this competition was supposed to be the 2022 Olympic champion Camilla Valeva. The figure skater began her sports career in the capital of Tatarstan and from there went to conquer Moscow and the whole world. Now she is returning to her hometown, but in a new capacity and with a lot of regalia. Before her first skate in Kazan, the skater recalled the past in an interview. She skated on the ice outside. We were put on so many jackets, different clothes, they told us, if you suddenly learn to jump on a street rink in so many clothes, then when you take everything off, you will immediately fly," Voliva recalled. And when little Camilla and her parents were late for training, the skates had to be put on right at home. After all, the start of training was at 6 o'clock in the morning. Camilla opened the strongest workout. And according to the results of the first five test performances, the leader was Ksenia Sinitsina. Titmouse, as the fan calls her behind her back, was the first to pass the mark of 70 points, receiving 70.54 for the rental. For Camilla Valiva, this barrier is easily overcome. But even in the short program, Camilla did not declare a triple axle. The light version of the program was announced by the skater, Camilla skated cleanly, and the audience exploded with applause after the end of her performance. Valiva, rides at home. What can I say, you see everything yourself. Everything was perfect in this moment, beautiful Kazan, beautiful Camilla, a wonderful program. Rotations clearly fall on the musical rhythm, every movement is perfected. You can endlessly praise and say good things about Camilla and her performance, Maxim Trenkov spoke positively about the performance of the figure skater on Channel 1. Camilla drove up to the side in a wonderful mood, she smiled and talked nicely with Daniil Glekangaus and Terry Tutberids. The whole hall greeted his compatriot with a standing ovation. The judges were also pleased, 83.3 points. It was safe to say that this was a victory. The mark of 80 points in the current season in the short program, even in the world, no one has overcome from the girls. For Camilla, in her hometown, it was quite easy. But Veronika Yamatova dug into the correspondence dispute between Sinitsina and Valiva. A girl from Yekaterinburg received 75.90 points for her energetic performance that touched the audience. And this despite the fact that a week ago in Sochi, Veronika admitted that she has only 45 minutes for training on ice. To which Maxim Maxim Trenkov retorted, in Moscow, for 45 minutes on the ice, the skaters only warm up. The result of the first day, Valiva is the first with a margin of almost 8 points from Yamatova, and behind the Ural figure skater, Ksenia Sinitsina from Moscow. The Russian anti-doping agency, Ruzeda, has completed an investigation into figure skater Camilla Valiva, but the outcome of the case remains a secret. It is unclear whether the athlete was found guilty or acquitted, whether a punishment was imposed, and if so, what kind. The organization cites the rule that an athlete under 16 years of age, a protected person, may not be made public. At the same time, the whole world is waiting for the announcement of the result, because the distribution of medals of the team tournament of the Olympic Games 2022 remains in question. So. In the US team they still hope that they will be given the victory. More than eight months have passed since the day when it became known that banned trimetazidine was found in Valiva's doping test. All this time, the fate of the medals of several tournaments at once remains in limbo, not only the Olympic team, where the athlete helped Russia win gold, but also the European Championship 2022, where Valiva became the first, beating Anna Skrbakova and Alexandra Trusova, and, in fact, the national championship, where the ill-fated sample was taken. After all, if the violation had been revealed on time, Camilla's results at the Russian championship would have been cancelled, and she could not have gone to the European championship at all. The only thing that is reliably known about the case is the version voiced by the athlete on the exit panel of the Court of Arbitration for Sport CS, right during the games. It was stated there that the drug came to Valiva by chance, from her grandfather. Randomness, by the way, 
is confirmed by other clean tests and a minimal trace of trimetazine in a positive sample. However, since then, no other details have been brought to public attention, which seems illogical, given the publicity of Voliva, as well as the level at which she speaks. In order to protect the interests of an athlete skater, a member of the Russian Olympic Committee (ROC) team, which is a protected person, Ruzeda declares that, in accordance with Clause 4.1 of the International Standard for Results Management, all processes and procedures related to results management, including the charge and the final decision are confidential. Strictly observing the principles of international and Russian anti-doping standards, and also taking into account the nature and circumstances of the case, Ruzeda does not intend to announce the date of the hearing, the decision or other details in the case of the figure skater, a member of the ROC team, Ruzeda said in an official statement, it appeared during the final preparations for the first start of the season, the stage of the Russian Grand Prix in Moscow. Shortly before this, there was a rumor that Voliva would probably not be able to participate, because the proceedings are still ongoing. However, in reality, there was nothing to worry about, Camilla was not suspended from performances, despite a positive test, both then at the Olympics and now at domestic competitions. As a result, at the Grand Prix in Sochi, Voliva took to the ice and won with a big advantage. If Ruzeda has already issued a verdict, and it is only known that the investigation has ended, and Voliva's participation in the tournament is explained by the absence of not a temporary suspension, but a disqualification, then there are several options, and each of them seems more than real. 1. Voliva was found guilty of doping, but received only a reprimand. For protected persons, an athlete of any level under 16 years old, and Camilla was 15 at the time of the test, such a measure is provided for under a number of conditions. 2. Voliva was found guilty, she was disqualified, but the term of punishment had already expired. The countdown could have been from the time the anti-doping violation was committed, not from the date of the decision. During the CAS meeting in Beijing, it was found that the processing of the results was delayed through no fault of the athlete. 3. Valuva was fully acquitted. In this case, it is interesting who will bear full responsibility for the doping incident, Ruzeda should also have investigated the athlete's personnel. Voliva herself refused to answer questions about the case during the tournament in Moscow, as always, but remarked, in the free program, I still retell my story, it has not gone away. Maybe outwardly everything is fine, but internally it will remain in any case. And behind this outwardly everything is fine, the journalists saw a hint of a positive outcome of the investigation. All these months, foreign athletes and officials have been pushing for a faster resolution of the case. Probably the most difficult thing is not to know anything about the situation. We get new information, about the progress of the case, and always here, we have no idea what's going on. This is very annoying, said the American single skater, 2022 Olympic champion in the personal tournament, Nathan Chen, American figure skater Evan Bates, who performs in a duet on ice with Madison Chalk, said that his frustration grows exponentially every day. It's very annoying. And it seems to me that in such cases there should be transparency by default, and not only for the public, but especially for the athletes involved. We just expect, like everyone else, to hear at least something. Again, 19 athletes or more now waiting for their medals all competed cleanly, he said. And the head of the US anti-doping agency, USADA, Travis Tigert, after the publication of the Ruzeda decision, said that keeping the facts secret makes the whole process a laughing stock, and called on international organizations to insist on full openness. Without this, neither the athletes nor the public will be able to believe that what happened at the 2022 Games was real, and not just another fraudulent victory for the Russians, as it was many times before, which the evidence clearly showed, the American added. Although the words about a fraudulent victory, Given the clean samples of Voliva in Beijing and the nature of the substance found in the sample, are banal populism, Tigert's logic is more than understandable. After all, 
At stake is the first victory in the history of the U.S. team in the team tournament, before the tournament was held only twice, Russia and Canada won.